In this video, we're going to focus on how we can give a proper equal distance or equidistant in our time chart here. You can see here, this here, if I go in here, this is May 1, and it is 6 a.m., and this is here 12 midnight. And if I go here, we jump immediately to the 2nd of May. Well, the distance here, as you can see, is the multiple grid lines is still equal, although the multiple grid lines give you a hint that we have a lot of other times between here. So it condensed the time nicely. And the same from here, 4 a.m., it jumps immediately to 12 a.m. on May 3. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to create a line chart with an equal distant time scale in Chart.js. And this is a topic I don't cover very, very often. However, this can be very useful for many cases. So let's start to look at how we do this. First thing what we need to do is here, we need to go to chartjs3.com, getting started, this specific link here above, which you can find as well in the description box. And then we're going to scroll down here and copy this entire chunk of code here. Let's copy this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. Then I'll paste it all in there, and then I will cut out this title here, put the title in here, save, refresh. There we are. So now what I want to do is I want to create a line chart from this. Let's we'll scroll down here. We'll indicate a line chart here, save, there we are. And then next what we need is we need to go to chartjs.org. This specific link here, because what we want to do now is work with the time scale. So we need to have the date FNS or the date adapter. So click here on ecosystem. And once you're on ecosystem, scroll down here, select here the adapters. And the one I'm going to use is this one here. Main reason for it, this one, only one JavaScript file to add, which is better than this one, because this one has two JavaScript files that we need to add, although this is easier to use compared to that. Do not use Moments. No, Moments.js has been deprecated since 2020, so don't use that one. Click on this, or anyone you want to, that you prefer, but I'm going to use DateFNS. Scroll down here and then copy this one here. If you're here, you will see your chart yes, date FNS bundle. That's the one we need. So then what I'm going to do is we're going to copy that and paste it in here. Make sure that this loads before that one because this one is dependent on whatever is in here. If I save this, refresh, nothing happens yet because we didn't change the scale. So I'm going to scroll down here now. I'm going to say here for the scale, we're going to say X scale, comma, and I'm going to say here, what we're going to use is the type. And I'm going to put in here time for now. So we're going to use the type of time. And I'm going to show you something. So we will not be using at the end time. Because we will use another one very close to the time here. So then I'm going to say here unit. Uh, oh, sorry, not yet. I'm going to say a time object. We're going to say a unit. And then here, I'm going to say here the unit. Uh, what is it? The time? Oh, sorry, that's it time but then we say unit equals hour so i want to show here every single hour the value we can save this refresh nothing happens yet but you can see here we have now the hour in the scale scroll up here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide this one we won't be using this i'm going to define it myself i create my own data structure for this what i'm going to say here so i'm just going to make something very quick here and afterwards i'm going to copy and paste and put it in there so what i'm going to do here is i say constant data points and then this here, bracket, and then semicolon here. And, oh, uh, I'll do that one. And then what I'm going to do here is curly braces. I'm going to say here the X, and this is the reason why I'm hiding this, because we're going to specify here the X already, our item. I'm going to say a new date. And this new date consists of the following, 2022, then May 1, like that. And then we're going to say here the time, and the time will be Zero, 00, which is 0 hours, means 12 midnight, 00, zero in minutes, and then here zero, 00 in seconds, and finally zero, 00 in milliseconds. So this is very important here, so we have all of this, so we will recognize this later on. Then we put a comma, we're going to say here with a Y, and for the Y, we can put here any value. I'm going to put in here a value of 3. Once I did this, I'm going to put a comma at the end here, and just, uh, oh, Comma at the end here and I copy this multiple times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do multiple times here. How many one doesn't matter, just select a few items. So then what I want to do, because we're going to focus here on hours or a segment of that, 
So let's say here, I'm going to put in here, uh, this is n midnight, so this is one hour, it's in the morning, etc., etc. So I'll make this till five or six. So then I have this one here. Then what I'm going to do here, this is an interesting one, I'm going to put in number two. And there we are, if I put in here two, that's the second of May, and finally here three, the third of May. So then what I want to do here is zero, and I'm going to calculate it again. And then you made four, and then here again zero, and then one, two, three, four. Then here, what I want to do here is the numbers. When we have here the second of May, I'm going to change this. I'll make this six, and I'll make this one nine. All right, so we have all of these nice numbers here. If I save this, or at least copy these data points, remove all the data here, just put that one in there, and save. Refresh. All right, so now we have something, but for some reason it doesn't uh, read it correctly. So let me double check what is going on here. Everything works. T let me double check quickly. All right, sorry, my bad. Don't do this with the zeros here. Let's remove those because that is not necessary if you do the T, but if you do GM, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, apparently it is, or, so, or maybe in the JavaScript uh, set hours. So sorry, I'm probably confusing those two together. Anyway, doesn't matter. Just remove all of these last zeros here because the milliseconds would not matter at all. Save, refresh. Now we have this, as you can see here, this is a problem. We have here this May 1, and then we have this white space here. I want this equal because this doesn't make any sense here, especially if you have like charts where you have the weekends uh, removed. Let's say uh, stock market charts, very common. So. How do we reduce this weird white gap here? So we're going to scroll down here, and basically what we're going to do here is not time, let me say time series. If I do this, save that, refresh, there we are. So now what is happening basically, it will give us an equal distance. And uh, there's a term for it, it's equidistant. And equidistant stands for equal distance. Basically, that is basically what we're doing here. And you can see here, this here is of course confined or condensed. Because this here is all the hours all together, and probably can do here something with that, but I will skip that one. But this is the most important part here. So that is basically how we can make everything at an equal distance. You can see here the distance of all these are equally nice. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to modify these ticks or do something with them, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this one here on how to use day tick, hour ticks in the x axis in chart chairs, where you can make it present a bit more appropriate as well. So that's another one that I would highly recommend you to explore.